Hello everybody, Liang J Mathematics here. Today, right, my niece, yeah, my niece asked me about something called simple interest and compound interest. How are we going to differentiate it? Okay, now we're going to show you, see ya. Okay, first of all, we don't, we're going to understand like two things. One is called the simple interest. Okay, simple interest. And the other subtopic being compound interest. Ah, compound interest. So, simple interest right is like a flat rate lah flat rate being what being okay why not we straight go into our kssm chapter 3 form 3 uh, syllabus where the formula gives you i indicates interest okay i indicates interest simple interest uh, simple and after that equals to p r t and p being the principal r being the rate in percentage okay but make sure uh, pa uh, what is pa per annum and how about t t means the term how many years okay how many years okay so that will be the simple interest formula and then when you come into compound interest right okay compound interest what's so special about it okay let's don't talk about the content first we talk about what's the formula in our kssm form 3 chapter 3 syllabus so it will be MV. So what is MV? It means the matured value. Okay, matured value means uh, you know lah. After like it depends on how many years you save in the fixed deposit, and after the year, after the amount of years done matured, you can take all the money out. Ah, uh, that will be the matured value. So matured value equals to P bracket. Ah, uh, what is P? It's the same thing lah principal okay or maybe sometimes we name it as deposit or maybe the savings that you initially place into the savings are uh, the fixed deposit savings okay so this will be p bracket one plus one is actually 100 percent the principal you know okay one is actually the 100 percent principal okay then we have r over n close bracket power n t so what is r S normal it will be red and what is n N is the what? It's the how many ah how many times okay how many times compound okay we compound the interest in a year okay how many times you compound in a year one year lah how many years in one year how many times so let's say I said ah uh, it gotta be compounded every six months so in a year you will compound two times uh, because one year you have two uh you have two times of six months right uh so that will be two lah so if let's say i mention something like uh compounded every three months uh so every three months so in a year there is how many three months there will be four three months so you're gonna place a four here so this is how many times it compound in one year in a year so n is the same thing and t will be the number of years lah so let's say you okay let's say i mentioned about you compound six months every six months huh? so in one year there will be two times right so let's say you save in the fd for five years so total five times two you get ten times of compounds right uh, so that's how the formula works okay so later we will place it into the workings okay so i'm going to place this by the side oh, okay so i'm going to place this by the side i'm going to take this paper and talk about something called interest okay now so let's go into this simple interest calculation okay so now simple interest uh, simple interest workings uh, niece, niece, listen carefully uh. so let's say uncle liang che hmm, uncle liang che okay got a two uh, twenty thousand uh, twenty thousand extra cash uh, want to place it into fd Okay, I want to place it into FD. FD means fixed deposit, huh? one of the savings in our syllabus. Okay, I want to place it into fixed deposit account. And what happens is, I go a bank called what? Call ABC Bank. Uh, ABC Bank. And I mentioned to the person in charge, I say that, hey, I got this extra 20k, right? I want to put it into your bank. Okay, right? So the bank say, no problem. Okay okay so the bank asked me how many years you want to place inside so i said that oh i want to place it for five years okay i'm gonna place it for five years and five years 
uh, okay lah. So, ABC Bank will offer you 2% per annum of interest rate, everyone. This is per annum. What is per annum? Per annum means per year. Ah, per year. So, simple interest, wait, I'm going to use this blue color pen. Now, see, ah? So, simple interest, very easy. Ah? Okay, now move here. It's like a very flat, simple calculation. Ah? First of all, let's put I equals to PRT. So, I being the simple interest, right? So, interest equals to principal day. Principal. Okay, so I put 20K. Now, so the moment you times with, now see. Can you see R, the rates? So, that will be the rate. Lah. So, I put R, the rates. So, what happened is when you come into Form 3, right? We don't really write 2 over 100. So, we know this is actually 2 over 100. But now, we got to get used to how to write. 0 0.02 ah. so i give you an idea everyone 50 percent agree or not it will be half half means one over two one over two means 0 0.5 so can you see this one is the same as this ah so if i say five percent it will be 0 0.05 right so if i say two percent 0 0.02 okay ma uh correct ah? Uh, so, when you do this calculation right guys, this thing, it comes out one year interest. So, I'm going to take my calculator, place it over here. So, 20k times 0 0.02, this thing 400, it will be the interest for one year. But the thing is, I'm going to save it for 5 years, right? So, I'm going to times with 5, lah, times with 5. So, in the end, my interest will be 2000. So, everyone... This is the interest in RM, of course. So that will be simple interest only. Huh? Okay, now I'm going to take this away and I'm going to ask everyone. So if I say, what is my total savings? It means after 5 years, uh, total how much I have. It will be the 20K, right? It will be the 20K. And this 2000, I'm going to add it. So this is my total savings after how many years after five years so that would be simple interest okay needs okay or not now so simple interest i place it over here so i'm going to use the same example everyone same example with another recycle paper hey okay so this one same example uh, liang j 20k okay so i put here uncle liang j okay uncle liang j okay extra cash 20k cry not Ah, so now the put in FD. And what happened is, FD account, huh? Okay, so I go ABC Bank. Okay, I said, Hey, ABC Bank, I'm go I got this extra 20K. I want to put it into your bank account. Can? Okay, no problem. Ah, so you say yes. So I say, I'm going to put it for 5 years. And what happened is, it's going to be a compound interest. Okay, so it will be 2%, huh? 2% per annum standard. Lah. So bank says it will be compounded every six months wow shock shock huh, everyone now so take a guess okay ne ne never mind lah. you don't have to guess because you sure know the answer already, right so if i say compounded every six months uh, what happened is my interest gonna stack every half a year you know okay so when you stack your interest in your interest and principal add up uh, stack means you add into principal you know so it will eventually increase the total interest. Okay, so now I'm going to use the formula and suppo it. Now, so at the end, at the end, you don't want to watch that detail, uh, you can ignore. Okay, I'll just show you the formula. Uh. So now, this matured value, matured value being uh, the total amount, not the interest only, you know. Ah, so principal 20,000 bracket. And what happened? 1 plus. Uh, let me tell you, 1 means 100. Remember just now I said, Uncle Liang Chet said what? 0 0.5, I see. 0 0.5 is 50%. Ma. So, if I say I say 1, it will be 100%. Uh. So, this 1 is actually the 20k, 100%. Okay, never mind. They are not important. Okay, so back to this. Rate. Uh, 2%, uh, 0 0.02. Divide by every 6 months, right? So, it will be 2. Uh, because the explanation says what? How many times you compound in one year? So in one year, because every six months you gotta compound, right? Ah, so your answer will be two over here. Lah. Then close bracket, you're gonna put what? You're gonna put two times five. Okay? Ah, so it will be 20k. Okay, 20k 
and then bracket you're going to do this thing okay i just write one extra thing here like everyone now so this will be 10 uh. now this one extra one uh. so now let me tell everybody when you type your calculator right you have to be extra extra careful okay why i say extra extra careful the the meaning being uh sometimes when students type this right they get plenty of decimal point i show you now see yeah uh, I, I type the inner part first you know one no no sorry sorry i press zero point zero two first i always do this i divide by two so you get this thing as okay i put here 0 0.01 okay i press as this now now so after i get this one, i get plus one ah 1.01 1 .01 already so i power see power 10 equal ding ding crazy amount of decimal point don't write it straight times with 20k ah so you see this amount so the amount will be 22092.44 so make it uh, two decimal points so that will be rm okay so everybody do you notice the difference between compound interest uh, and your simple interest obviously compound interest because you didn't take the interest out and some more they compound every half a year you know so can you see there will be extra 92 ringgit 44 cents so of course compound interest will be a better choice right so this is how i apply it but never mind uncle lang is gonna show you another example using another example but in compound only lah. so this one i put it by the side okay so another example now see ah so now this one more time see okay another rough paper from bell okay bell's drawing you know you see bell all these things like octagon this are that lah. okay now so let's say now so uncle lang again again eh, red color the one okay uncle lang ah uh. okay uncle lang say what Uncle Legit now uh, who was see very rich already got how many how much money like let's say I got five hundred thousand extra cash. Woo! Now so again, but um, I will be focusing on compound interest how to how to put into the formula. Okay, so put in FD account and now I go to another bank called uh W W uh W W W Bank. Uh okay, this bank. So I go to the bank and I ask the bank, bank, I got extra cash, 500,000 wall. Can I put into your bank? Uh? The bank say, okay, no problem. Okay, so he say that, okay, the bank, the bank person say that, hey, how much, you want to, uh, how many years you want to put inside? So the duration, okay, how many, how many years? I said, I, I'm going to put for 10 years. 10 years, uh? okay, 10 years. Okay, so the bank say, wow, 10 years, okay lah, give you how many percent uh? Give you uh three percent uh. but in real life no uh, everyone okay three percent uh, nah so the bank say what compound every two months ooh damn happy every two months way so look at the power of compound you see okay so now I'm not doing simple because simple you can do it yourself okay so simple of course they won't say the word compounded compound these things uh. so in this case uh, I'm gonna use the formula again. So what is the formula? The formula says matured value equals to wow five hundred thousand half a million way. So bracket one plus hey what's the interest huh? three percent zero point zero three. So nobody use three over one hundred really. Then divide by nah see this compounded every two months ah. look at this look at this. In one year right there is twelve months right. So twelve months there is how many two months? So there will be. Two months, two months, two months, two months, two months, two months. Can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ah, so you have six times of two months. So divide by six. Lo. So it means compounded six times. Uh. Okay, then close bracket. And then six times with how many years? Whee, ten years. Sixty times of compound, you know. Then now I'm going to take my calculator. And I'm going to start pressing the inner part. So 0 0.03 divide by how much? Uh? 6. Uh? And then plus with 1. Don't forget this one, you know. So equal. So I always set, uh, settle the information inside first. Okay. Then power how much? Power 60. Because 6 times 10 must 60. So I get this amount. Don't write. Straight times with my half a million. I got so much money then good. Tung. Wow. So after 10 years, uh, my matured value... RM674425.08 So that will be my compound interest 
matured value answer everyone if i say i'm gonna find the interest that will happen so if let's say the compound interest amount only uh, then you're gonna take your six seven four four two five point zero eight minus of the half a million five hundred thousand uh. so the interest itself uh, is, is already one seven four four two five point zero five uh, zero eight now that will be interest only lah okay so everyone this is on the information on how to apply into the formula so the content behind on why is it uh like power 60 all these things like the detail calculation all those things right if you are interested you comment in the chats i will make another video if let's say you interested okay that's all niece make sure you make sure you understand you don't understand just call up uncle Liang Chie, okay bye